So I'm on a bit of a road trip and uh, I've got two lots of APRS running. I've got HF APRS, which is a 10, that's the 10 meg antenna on the bull bar there. Which I've done a little bit of work on, as you can see. It's strengthened up at the base a bit with the fiberglass. I've got a Kodan 9350 HF antenna on the back. That's a 70 centimetre, two metre antenna on the magna base. And behind that's a quarter wave whip on two metres, which I'm running uh, VHF APRS on. So, my APRS system as such. Uh, I'm running two. That's a tiny track three, believe it or not. Beautifully presented in a lovely metal case. I was having a lot of trouble with uh, RF feedback and a mate of mine uh, set it up in the box. It's been modified, the, the three. Um, and what it does is it switches on a Codan X2 that I have here. That's a Codan X2 down there. And that's my uh, HF uh, APRS transceiver. I'll just switch it off and on, I'll show you what happens. So when I switch the tiny track on, it switches on the X2. It waits for a satellite block on the GPS receiver. It'll send a packet and then it'll switch it off, which is absolutely brilliant. There it goes. So it's sent a packet and it switched itself off. Now I've got smart beaconing switched on on APRS on the tiny track. So basically when I change direction or change speed, it'll send a packet. So it switches the transfer, the X2 on, sends the packet, turns it off. Brilliant. Saves the auxiliary battery. For VHF, I've pushed my uh, old uh, Yaesu 897D into service on two metres. Uh, it's running a tiny track four, which is somewhere here, wherever I've hidden it. That's just a straight uh, tiny track four. Let me get it up here. All around the back, all around backwards. But anyway, it's a straight tiny track four. Uh, and that's running the uh, two meter VHF APRS. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, that's a mobile one compromise 70 centimeter, two meter antenna. Uh, does quite a good job actually. I'm I'm quite happy with it. I've got a a nine three two three as my HF rig, and just an old IC twenty five A as my two meter rig. The only trouble with the the twenty five A is it doesn't do tone burst. which is a bit problematical when you're up on the Gold Coast like I am here at the moment and uh, you need tone to get into the repeater. Anyway, that's my APRS setup for the, for the trip and uh, it's running quite well. So that's, uh, that's basically my setup.